Hello guys, Chris Beer and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be benchmarking the GTX 760 as you can see here and here. Driver version is 431.60. We're running a Ryzen 7 1700 with 16 gigs of RAM. You should be able to get the same FPS with like a Core i3 6th gen or something like that. And 16 gigs of RAM is absolutely needed for this game because if you have 8 gigs, you'll be getting a lot of stuttering. Let's start with Super Potato here at 1080p. Alright guys, after a thousand years of waiting, we're back here in Rust. So everything's in the lowest settings possible, as you can see over here. And here, and here, everything off or at the left of the slider here. And let's, let's join a game. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this one, this one looks to be fine. 69 players. <laughs> okay, guys, we're finally here after waiting so much for this. We're finally inside Rust and this guy is just sleeping here. What does he have? Nothing. He has been robbed already. All right, so we're getting pretty good FPS here. I'm gonna try to go to like there. And see the FPS inside those trees, inside those, that forest over there. And we're seeing a few stutters here and there because of the VRAM. As you can see, the VRAM is maxed out at 2 gigabytes almost. The RAM is also very, very, being very utilized. Like, I have 16 gigs of it. We're using 11 because this game is just, it just eats all of your RAM. And yeah, it's like that. Alright, I'm gonna be testing Rust as well uh, in other graphics cards uh, because the videos that I have in Rust are from 2018, are like from a year ago, so I need to retest everything now because I think the game got many updates since I last made videos on it, so... This is too loud. Can I eat it? No, you still can't eat it in your hands, so yeah. But yeah, the game received a lot of updates, so it might be running differently. I've seen a lot of comments saying that it's running actually worse. worse. And yeah, I don't remember this many stuttering um, when I was testing the GTX 750 Ti last time in Rust. And it was in this area, I think. What is it? What the hell just happened? Oh my gosh. Okay. What the hell, man? There's a there was a guy just waiting for me. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, not that beautiful because the graphics are on super potato and everything looks potato-ish as you can see. So, <laughs> the ground is just a a green thing and the, the, the grass is just ah, ah, I don't even know but it's good that the game runs like this uh, not runs like this looks like this on the lowest settings possible I wish many more games will do this because it's good for lower end hardware of course all right let me see so the FPS we're getting like around 80 to 90 FPS most of the time it is good. We're getting stuttering, but that's okay. That's not too bad. And I'm gonna log out of here. And I'm gonna change these settings now. Because someone wanted me to test this shader level at maximum. So everything else on low, shader level at maximum. Let's go. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the textures are a little bit better now. The ground has some textures on it now. That's an improvement. Our VRAM is actually lower. Probably not because of the shaders, but because we're not seeing many trees right here. Stuttering still there, of course, but well, what can we do about it, right? The ground is definitely with more detail, right? As well as the rocks over here. So shader makes a huge difference, shader uh, quality here. 
and we we didn't see a lot of a drop in FPS, you know. We're in the 70s now. Before the graphics change, we we were in the 80s. We're still getting into the 80s sometimes. Yeah, this is not too bad. Okay, so we're approaching a forest over there. Okay. Alright. We're... I think we're in a forest, but the the trees are just like... Look just like vomit. <laughs> look at that. Everything looks like vomit. So... Yeah, um, okay, so we're inside the forest now, and we're seeing still 70 to 80 FPS, which is really good, but this, this is, oh, alright, I think I'm just, I'm just gonna change the settings, guys. Okay, here it is, let's do 1080p, at, let's do simple or fast, let's do fast. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm older now after waiting all this time okay so as you can see guys the graphics quality is now 2 instead of 0 we're gonna change uh, something else in inside the game guys are you still here 100 years have passed it's 2119 right now I'm not sure if anyone's still watching Swarms Gaming or if Swarm's Gaming is like at 1 million subs by now. <coughs> I wish it is the latter. Oh my gosh, what the hell just happened? So yeah, guys, there's rust for you. Uh, here we go. Yeah, okay. So the stutters are still there, of course, because they aren't gonna be gone anytime soon. Unless the game just receives a huge update. And we're still seeing pretty much the same FPS as Super Potato Mode. Ah, uh, this is boring, guys. This is really boring. I used to play Rust with my friends a few years ago. It was pretty fun. We were always doing something, but playing solo, man, it's it's just boring. I just want to go there, and I have to spend like a minute uh, walking. A few stutters here. The trees still look like vomit. There's probably another setting that I have to change for it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Alright, so now we're in the 60s. Wow, the shadows just are loading in as well. Oh my gosh. This is... Uh, this is really, really bad looking. <laughs> Alright, let me pick up some mushrooms. And let's eat them. Okay, what can I change now? Let me see. Shadow quality, because the shadows look so bad right now. Um, water quality, no, that's not needed. World reflections, no, don't care. Draw distance, yes, we want this like at... Right at the middle, let's do this. Shadow distance as well, because this looks awful. We don't need that, and we don't need that, and we don't need any of this, so... Okay, oh no, the, the, the trees are still looking like... Oh my gosh. Alright, let me see. Tree quality. Yeah, no? Max tree meshes. I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, okay, so now the game looks a lot better. And I'm not sure what settings these are, but <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put it at the top right corner, something that I think those settings are. And now the game doesn't look bad. I mean, the textures are still pretty bad in some places, but that's probably something like object quality. Yeah. Alright, so I would say this is medium settings, right? Game looks a lot better than Super Potato, and I think we're just gonna die again. Okay, so we've gone from Super Potato things that uh, aren't trees to actually a decently good-looking game. This is not too bad, and we're running above 60 FPS right now. We were seeing drops to the 50s, 
uh, before in the, the the forest zone, but right now the game is running smoothly, 60 FPS. So yeah, these settings aren't too bad. It looks great. FPS are good still. And I would say the game is playable above 40 FPS, so it's a, this is okay, it's absolutely fine. Because when I actually played this game a lot with my friends, I had an FX6350 with this exact same GPU, not the exact same, it was another model, but it was the GTX 760, and I played it at like 40, 45 FPS, sometimes it dropped to the 30s because of the CPU, but it was playable and I had fun playing it like that, so this isn't too bad. We've seen the FPS at medium settings, now let's... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of corn. So uh, let's do now beautiful settings here at 1080p. Oh my god, guys. I've been waiting like 20 minutes to get into the game. The loading screens are just insane. Okay, but we are in. We are in, finally. So, let me just check here the graphics. Graphics quality is set at 5. I don't know why, because I set it to beautiful, not fantastic or whatever it was. But, yeah. I, I guess high settings will be like something like this. Oh my gosh! Oh, the stuttering. Oh, look at the VRAM. Look at the RAM usage. Almost 15 gigabytes. Oh my god. Wow. So, I might need to upgrade to 32 gigs just to play Rust on a GTX 760. <laughs> wow, man. Look at this. So, we're in the 30s. 30 FPS mark. 335 and let me see okay okay fine just kill me oh, this is too loud I can't even speak properly okay I just want to finish this rust video guys <laughs> okay get near to a forest or something and Yeah, you just see a guy that already has weapons and you die and then you just run around for another half hour and yeah, it's just just boring playing alone. Come on, man. Don't get stuck. Ah, this is clunky as hell. But all right, we are in the forest right now and we're very very close to the 30 fps mark so if we drop from 30 uh, almost i will say this is not playable anymore i mean you can get used to it but if you have the option to play at the medium settings that we were seeing before at 50 to 60 fps i will definitely play like that instead of this because that also looked pretty good. Alright, so we have seen enough, I think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of the performance test on the GTX 760. Rust... Oh, Jesus. Oh my gosh, it stutters every time I click something. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, today, oh, there's a guy cutting down trees over there. I love you all. Bye-bye.